Immigration, when do we get to too many? The border crisis continues to be a growing problem with virtually no solution in sight. The two sides of the aisle are too busy fighting each other and President Donald Trump to get anything accomplished. The Dems want open borders while the rest of the US wants to protect our borders and everyone inside them. Now a new bill is set to be introduced by the Democrats that will increase the number of refugees we take in each year to a whopping 100,000. The Northern Triangle and Border Stabilization Act, H.R. 3524, being introduced by Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren, D. California, is an attempt to increase the number of at-risk immigrant refugees with an emphasis on speeding up the process. According to the United Nations, 22,900 refugees were resettled in the U.S. in 2018. Let me repeat that, 22,900 refugees last year and the Dems want to increase that to 100,000. To further emphasize the enormity of this, these numbers only relate to refugees as defined by their need to escape their homeland due to imminent fear or threats of harm or death. This number does not take into account the hundreds of thousands of immigrants stampeding our southern border on a daily basis. Nor does this include immigrants and refugees outside of Central America. This astronomical number refers only to those seeking asylum from the Northern Triangle countries, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. The American Immigration Lawyers Association, AILA, is, of course, 100% behind this bill, and added its own suggestions to be implemented. Said ALA Executive Director Benjamin Johnson. To make the system efficient and fair, ALA calls upon the government to hire and send more asylum officers to the border, provide migrants with legal counsel, and stop what has become an e-jerk practice of detaining asylum seekers. H.R. 3524 also calls for hiring more immigration judges, but on its own, more judges won't eliminate the enormous 900,000 case backlog slowing the courts. Congress should immediately restore the authority the Dodge stripped from immigration judges to manage their dockets and decide cases in an impartial and independent manner and in the long term Congress should create an independent immigration court system separate from the Department of Justice. We welcome the Northern Triangle and Border Stabilization Act and urge Congress to move the bill forward quickly. In other words, it is okay to bring in more officers to the border to assist refugees, but it is immoral to send more patrol agents to protect our citizens. Our detention centers, otherwise known as concentration camps from such geniuses as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, are already splitting at the seams with the overcrowding of migrants spilling into the nation. Dems have been having a glorified field day complete with crocodile tears relating the horrible, inhumane, and atrocious conditions where immigrants are being housed while we figure out what to do with them. Why, then? Would sensible lawmakers ever consider upping the cap number of refugees allowed in each year? Increasing the number will not improve conditions at the border. One of the elements of the proposed act is to make it so immigrants seeking asylum can do so from their own country so that they don't have to make the dangerous trek. In theory, this seems like a good idea, as long as the pre-proved seekers are still met with a rigorous in-person vetting system once they reach the US the idea is that this will help reduce the congestion at the border by allowing people to pre-qualify. The United Nations reports that currently, it takes between 12 and 24 months for asylum seekers to be vetted once they are recommended to the US. Screening by eight federal agencies including the State Department, Department of Homeland Security and the FBI. Six security database checks and biometric security checks screened against U.S. federal databases. Medical screening. Three in-person interviews with Department of Homeland Security officers. Before our elected representatives start quadrupling the numbers of refugees the U.S. processes each year. Perhaps a better idea would be to first find a solution to deal with the enormous numbers we already have in our country before inviting even more.